They're all live oysters. This is all live oysters. So they're everywhere. I'm here in Maine, on North Haven Island, where I'm going to harvest oysters with Adam, a local farmer of America's favorite mollusk. Oysters. This little tiny bed can produce 250 to 300,000 oysters a year. I'm walking through the water thinking, so where are these things? I'm actually standing on them. It was a proper oyster bed. They're free. Nothing's caged. Nothing's in racks. The size of this. Oh, it's a monster. That is insane. What an amazing little river. So the fresh water comes from a uh, freshwater pond up here. Yeah. And then the tide comes from the sea. Yes. And then the two meet, and it creates really good algae oh. blooms. Yeah. So yeah. they get the advantage of the tides, obviously. And the flow. And the flow. And so that's a there. gorgeous one. That's yeah. a beauty there. Imagine yeah. eating that. This the extreme tidal fluctuations of this estuary rotten, and the mixing of fresh and salt water, water are a part of what makes this fucking... the perfect environment uh. to grow the oysters. How did they get here? Um, I grew oysters in the pond for years, and I had this kid harvesting for me, and he shucked the oyster and dropped them on the bed, and they created a natural spawn. So I came down the next morning. Guys, guys, the there's a reason seafood is in the fucking water, okay? It, it should stay there. This disgusting trash you guys pick on the ocean, leave it there, man. Le Evolution said, yo, we want to be in the water. It stays in the water, you dumb fuck. Stop eating the fucking lobster, the, the little thing thing, the, the little, little eh, 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 eh. Fuck all that, it's disgusting. It smells like trash. It's not, it's not like somebody has this like, uh, it's not like an open wound. Oh, it, it, um, acre pond oh whoa, look, this delicacy. And I was like, I'm oh eating God, UK food, on? yikes. Some of the oyster larvae swam into this connected estuary where they ended up thriving on the gravel bottom. So Adam now replicates this process for each new batch. Actually, you want an oyster? You want to try one out right now? I'd love one now, please. No, yeah. don't okay. do it. Do that. Look don't at that. Don't fucking do it. Oh my god. Try that. Thank you. Just look at the color. No. My god. They're nice and thick, dense, creamy. Mm hmm. Cheers. Look at that. Cheers. Cheers. Bloody hell. Man. There's a reason I have five kids. <laughs> <laughs> Guess how many kids I've got. <laughs> how many? Five. No, that's awesome. For me, it makes a big difference having these free-range bottom cultured oysters because they're spread out. There's nothing set in cages. They're not hanging horizontally, vertically. They literally are laying on the bed when, of when that fresh. river. fresh. Guys, guys, guys. Would you drain that water like that? No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You would not drain that water right there, right then. I, you. Oh. Um, and then this surge of salt water against the fresh water is just producing, you know, a perfect oyster. Honestly, some of the best oysters I've ever eaten. Then, oh my god. If you want to drink right, the water, go big one. then why do you why would you eat it right there, right then? It's full of weird bacteria and shit, man. So th these oysters here are market oysters, so this yes. is like half shell market. Gotcha. The big ones, like this one we got today, that is not a half shell no. oyster. How'd you open something like that? I'll shut this one. Please. Let's check it out. Oh, man, look right. at that. Yeah. I mean, honestly, wow. So then we'll brine that overnight, yeah. and then- That is um, beautiful. So beautiful. And then this is what it looks like after 24 hours of smoking. Oh my god. Right here. So they've already been brined. The brine, smoked. Wow. Yeah. Mmm. That's delicious. Yeah. And then the way we finish them is in. There's another process. Yeah. We pack them in um, virgin olive oil, with wow. a couple other little secret ingredients. I love all this secrecy. We gotta have a few secrets. That smells sweet. Is there honey in there? Yeah, there is. Let's see. You got me. You got me. No. <laughs> Chefs share their secrets, right? Yeah. Yeah. One's enough. <laughs> Mmm, my God. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's like that is so pickled. Good. Smoked oysters are out there. You know, it's a fine balance when something's so salty, oh, creamy, and delicious. Wow. But amazing flavor. What works for me there is that honey. Mm. Any herbs in there? Mm. Or you're not going to tell me? <laughs> you're such a. <laughs> <laughs> I know Melissa won't have a jar like that. May I take the fresh oysters, yep. the clams, and just a jar? Because that could be the secret weapon. Do it. Yeah? Take it. Oh. Thanks, bud. Sugar love. Wow. 
I think I've become a mainer. Now I've got to cook like one. So these little pockets of magic, fingers crossed, is going to have the edge over Melissa. Cool. Take care. Awesome. Thank you. All right.